Hello, I'm Mara Pearl, author of the Milford Haven novels, and this is Pearls of Wisdom. I wanted to share an experience I had about apologizing. I had a dear friend and colleague, and we were going to do a business event together. There were some complex arrangements to be made. We had agreed how things would go and what we would do. As it turned out, she did not adhere to our agreement. At the time, I couldn't really do anything about that. The event was upon us. I had to go ahead with my part of what was going to take place. I let go of my irritation and disappointment about this and continued on with my work and my career and things were going fine. But I became aware that this had now completely interfered with our friendship and she was really very valuable to me. Well, one day I called her and it's funny, I really didn't want to call her, but I convinced myself that she really never answered her phone anyway, so I'd just be able to leave a voicemail. Wouldn't you know, this was the one time she did answer her phone. So there I was, confronted with the voice of my good friend on the other end of the line. So the first thing I said was, I want to apologize to you. She was very taken aback. She said, what do you have to apologize for? I said, I'm apologizing because I have allowed you to think that I'm okay with what you did. And actually, I'm not. And I want to be authentic with you as a friend. We briefly talked about that day and what had happened. But she said, I was wrong. I'm so sorry. And within the space of five minutes, everything that had been in the way of our friendship was removed. We both felt completely free. Our friendship was restored. We laughed. And it was really quite wonderful and something that I have never forgotten. So I took away from that. Sometimes it's really important to be authentic and also just to begin with an apology because really I'm the one who put an obstruction in the way and that's what I was apologizing for. And I found that to be just as precious as a pearl.